so hi guys how are you doing and welcome back to my youtube channel for the returning subscribers thank you so much for always coming back to watch my content i appreciate a lot and uh, for the new subscribers thank you so much for passing by this is the right place for you and if you haven't subscribed please consider subscribing this is the right play for you no doubt so guys um i know it's it's i've uh, stayed for quite some time without uploading but today there will be a video i'm doing this at night the day it's around um, 8 30 at night so i just got home i'm doing some cooking then i decided let me do this one because i've been procrastinating for the longest time i've been very busy um very busy so i haven't had time to do this video but more food zikiva let me do this one very quickly yeah i'm done with this thing so please if you haven't subscribed please consider subscribing and uh, share comment and like this video so um i have this thing and i decided let me enlighten you on this if you if you don't know maybe you can you can just assist someone or refer them to my videos and uh, yeah so that's it so let's get into this video so guys um for those ones who don't know what i do i run a cyber cafe uh and um and some other things that i do but that is the main thing that i do and um there are those people who would like who've been asking me whether i need a carry pin how do i open i need a uh, to register a company it doesn't have a pin so that's all i'm going to talk about i'm going to put 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 to put them into segment maybe i'll do uh i'll do other other clips about gary on another video i don't know let's see how this one goes so these are the requirements when you for uh, the requirement when you need a carry pin if you don't have a carry pin and um you need one you, you've gone to the bank and they've told you come with your carry pin and you don't know where to start um the first thing you should have is your id your id i mean your original id what else an active email address that's all you need and then of course your phone number you're going to give the side back of your attendant your PO box your phone number and what else uh, your tax station if you're in nakuru if you're in nairobi you just tell them where you utaku kikato you or whatever um this pin does not necessarily mean that inachukuliwa na wenye watakuwa employed even those ones who are not employed when you you're opening an account uh bank account i mean you're supposed to have a that's a requirement you're supposed to have a carry pin so what you need is your id your original id your email address so your PO box definitely um what else your phone number those things so you go there they they will definitely ask you for a for a id you give them they ask you the rest of the questions you give them then um we are saying that you should have an active email address because when you open a pin uh there's an there's a message there's a code that is usually sent to your email address and it's called an otp that's why we're saying that you should have an active email address because an otp will be sent to your email address we need that otp to enter it to the to the carry system where you you are registering your you're registering a new pin you feed in that code so that you can be able to verify so that's all you need for a new pin it has, i don't know okay for us we charge 200 uh, for an individual yeah so that's all you need but i don't know maybe some other places they charge different it depends so um that's all you need for you to have a carry pin another thing um these are pinned for company so what you need pinned for company um when we are registering we usually put it like uh, it's a non individual this is not an okay it's a company not not an individual so there's somewhere we say pin here pin yeah non individual because it's a company so what we need to open for a pin to open pin for a company is your um company certificate your company certificate and then what uh we need two pin two carry pin for two directors maybe a director or a shareholder two of them and the pin their pin should be active 
active uh, by being active we mean that the pin should have um, should be updated on itax like this person have been filing their returns they are up to date like um, their pin is recognized in the KRA system for those two if their pins are not active you need to take that pin go to KRA not to KRA like uh, you give that cyber person he or she is going to update the pin then when you come to to feeding in the details you just feed in the ID number and the date of birth of that individual or of that shareholder or the director and then it's going just to verify that this person his care his or her carry pin is updated so those two pins it's a must it's like it's mandatory you should have those two pins so you need to have your company certificate or business registration certificate or a CBO and uh, two pin certificates active one those ones that have been updated like they've been filing their returns everything they are sorted um what else they should have an email address an active one just that like the individual one they should have an email uh, email address that is active because an otp is, OTP is going to be sent to their to that email address but for this email address you should open that company's email address like it should have its own email address don't use for an individual like if uh, uh, maybe you take like for that one shareholder you take their email then you feed in no it should be company's email address because every business that that company is going to do every detail is going to be sent to that email so we always advise that you should have company email address okay and it should be active okay the other thing that you need what else do you need uh, i think that's all you need then the phone number the phone number you can put either of those two directors or shareholder any like but that number should be definitely that is working that is active. so something else that i forgot to say about um individual spin is that um for individual spin Okay, I'm taking you back to individual spin before I finish this. I finish with the company spin. So with individual spin, it's going to be generated immediately. Like the moment you, 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 you're done with giving your details, your ID, whatever, everything, it usually takes like three minutes at most or five minutes. Uh, maybe if systems go down. So you get your pin immediately. But for the company the company okay okay sorry for this okay for individual when you're you're done when they process your pin then they they give it to you you're definitely going to do a copy you take the copy to where it's required you remain with the original one then for the company uh when you process it when everything has been done and then you've validated there's something that comes out it's called uh, there's something that is usually produced it's called an acknowledgement receipt Acknowledgement receipt, um, okay, that one means PIN has been applied for a company. For a company, it doesn't come out immediately, like for the individual. So for the company, you have to take that receipt with you. So the cyber person is going to give you the PIN. You're going to take it to the nearest Duma center or nearest carry station. And then, uh, it, nowadays, it, it takes like two days. There was a time it was, it was taking like even five days to be generated because KRA needs to go through that uh, they need to go through through what through the, um, the the what the certificate the company certificate like to see if you guys have um, have qualified to get that pin of the or like they just have to verify your pin they have to verify your certificate before they give you the company the company's pin so you take your acknowledgement receipt to the carry station or to the nearest Huduma center for them to verify every detail so you're going to leave it there then after two days or even after two days or three days they are going to send the the what the pin certificate to the email remember the email that we opened for the company that is where they are going to send the pin certificate that's why i was saying you need to open a carry you need to open an email address for the company you don't have to use an individual's one because when uh, the pin has been sent to the individual's email you have to you need to 
go ask them for for their passwords after they don't want their email to be accessed you see something like that so that's why i was saying you need to open to open an email address for the company yeah like you you the, the director or the shareholders know the password so immediately the 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 immediately the carry or the huduma center is done when you go to huduma center there is a desk there is a carry desk so that's where you're going to to give them the acknowledgement receipt and they're going to process the the carry pin for the company yeah so that's all after two days you have your carry pin for the company it's going to be sent to your email to the company's email so you can print it from there you can access it from there then you can start doing business with it yeah so that's it and um what else something i'd like to say for the individual pin it is usually filed monthly not monthly annually sorry for that should should be filed annually employed and then unemployed for the employed the employer usually um do what um the, the it, when you're given the, that um uh, the employer um, okay how do i put this how do i put it um if you're employed and you definitely when you're employed they're going to ask for your pin for your carry pin so they have all your details so carry knows that you're employed somewhere so they deduct your money from your employer they deduct your money from your employer so you have your so when you're you're you're, you're filing your returns the money is already deducted you just needed to declare the same that this amount was deducted from me from was deducted from me so i think i think that's clear maybe i can do a, a whole video about that how they usually do it okay okay i'll try and do a video about that and um for those ones who are not employed you're supposed to file your carry every once per year it is usually filed from january to 30th june yes so that is the duration you can file your returns but there's those people that have rental income they are they have some to rentals somewhere that wanaingiza do for those ones they are supposed to file monthly because rent in alipwa kila mwezi so they're supposed to file monthly returns so that's another whole topic that i'm supposed to talk about or enlighten you about yeah so that's all for today i just wanted to tell you the requirements and by the way if you need any cyber services please hot me call me please call me or text me i'll leave the number my business number and then my email if you need anything you can even tell me in the comment section if you need anything for passport for good conduct all those things i do yeah so that's it guide for today and please don't forget to subscribe uh, comment share and like this video please subscribe we're on the road to 1000 subscribers and i know it's very much possible with you guys if you have a subscribe please take a moment click that subscribe button there it doesn't cost you anything it's totally for free please consider subscribing yeah so guys that's it for today yep so until next time peace